sorry. I'm so... We're off to a flying start. I am sorry. <laughs> we should just not tell her uh, one of these days to see how long it takes her to realize. <laughs> I would literally have to stop the stream. I would literally, I would be so embarrassed. I would literally have to stop the entire stream. It was. It's okay. It's okay. The phone. The phone is now muted. Anyways. I'm gonna say hello and welcome to everyone again and I am once again gonna say thank you so much Rancor Thank you so much for the super chat. It means the world to me It is very 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 important and big and I thank you and And I can't believe you couldn't hear my first thank you, but it's okay. It's okay because I can start again I can start again Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome Kevin, welcome Krampus, how are you guys? I hope you're having a good day. Monkus of the Zerkot Pins, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Ritesh Dancy, welcome guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Avorator Leo, C plus zero, welcome guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Selvin is welcome, hi, hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I think I didn't miss any. Asuna Yuki, buenos dias, Eli, buenos dias, como estas? Espero que te tienen un buen yeah, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, I think that's everyone. I think that's everyone. If I didn't say hello to you this time around, assume I said it while I was muted, okay? <laughs> why am I scuffed? You know why? You know why? I know exactly why this happened. I know exactly why this happened. Because yesterday I was trying to record some uh, gameplay and I was testing the gameplay without testing the mic uh, like so that I could hear how the gameplay was sounding on the recording and and then I didn't turn the mic on back on when I was done with the testing mm -hmm. that's exactly why it happened uh, not that it not that it excuses it because I still should have turned the mic on after after being done with the testing but that is what it happened. If you want to know, I find it very useful to understand my my actions. I don't know. Uh, Lord Fina, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? Not good enough. Do them again. Okay. Welcome, Krampus. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> welcome, Rangers. How are you doing? We're good. Uh, I do I really have to do all of them again? Do I, do I, do I really have to do all of them all over again? Um. Uh, I've been good, just sad that Mexico has been eliminated. Oh no! It has been! I'm so sorry! I'm sorry to hear that! Uh, no, but it's funny, okay. Welcome, Grumpers! Welcome, Lord Fina! How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome, Asuna Yuki! Welcome, Sweet Boy Zero! Welcome, Rita! How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Leo! Welcome! Hi, Kevin Nesuko! Welcome, the Mongoose Officer! Hot Pants! How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Dancy! Self in this! How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Vorador! How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. C plus Zero! Welcome! How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Ha! Huh. I did them all again! And, and I'm still caught up with the chat. How you like that? <laughs> Ah, uh, don't cry and don't be sad, Ellie. I'm sorry, Kevin. I just, I'm just so done with my scuff. Uh, we should just not tell her one day and occasionally respond as if we can hear her. How dare you? You are evil. You're evil. That was a great expression, though. I could feel the anguish. <laughs> Good, because I was feeling it. Bridge Hill Day, how was yours? So, my day was okay. But I did get worried a couple of times because of uh, two reasons. I'm gonna get started with the drawing in a minute, but I'm gonna say this first and foremost because it's actually important. Um, first, I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to stream because there was a lot of noise coming in from the windows. Uh, and thankfully that stopped. And also there was um, at my internet died at some point. But also, besides that, I do have to admit to one thing because it's very important. Um, I've been feeling some pain in my throat since yesterday. And it's not 
a pain that shows up when I am speaking necessarily. It happens mostly when I swallow, which sucks because, you know, we have to swallow a lot all the time. And also, you can drink water without swallowing. And also, drinking water is important, especially if you're going to be using your voice a lot. So, you see, I'm in a bit of a hard, hard place. I'm in between, uh, what's the expression? Between a rock and a hard place. No. Whatever! You know the expression even if I don't! So the point is my throat has been hurting a little bit uh, And even though it only hurts when I swallow I'm gonna have to be very conscious of it today uh, I'm gonna have to be very conscious of it today Because if it starts hurting more and more as the stream goes on I should probably stop it For the sake of not injuring my throat long term I think we all agree with that I think we can all be okay with that decision uh, it would be the, the, it would be suck. It would be suck, but it would be the best course of action. Kaifek, welcome, hey, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Um, that was for me? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Um, so is normal Ellie just like a very big Padoru or super cute Ellie Padoru, by the way? Thank you, Rancor, for the super chat and for the question. Uh, no. No, I can never be as perfect as a Padoru Eddie. I know, I know what you see is, uh, I'm, I'm, some, I'm very happy with what you see. I think I did a great outfit. I like how my gem shines. Um, and, and I think I style my hair very prettily, but unfortunately I'll never be as perfect as a Padoru. I just never will. Uh, yep, say your voice for the Christmas songs. Oof. Oof! Am I supposed to do another Christmas karaoke? Problem is, my freaking family hasn't fixed their stupid computer yet! Drink plenty of tea and yeah, feel free to wrap up early anytime you're not feeling well. Thankfully, so far, I'm not feeling... Like, when I speak, it's not feeling weird. It's only feeling weird when I swallow. So, if it starts uh, feeling like... If I start hurting when I speak as well, I'll notice as the stream goes on. But if it doesn't, still their mic... Uh, their mic and their... The, the, the problem is threefold. Is their mic? My mic is good too. But my sister has a soundboard and she also has a room that isn't connected to... Because they live in a house. I live in a, an apartment. A small, small apartment. Uh, and that means that the neighbors, you know, everything with the neighbors. So! We are going to be uh, at least getting started on the thumbnail for uh, Lost Ruins because with Lost Ruins, I did a quick, I did a quick uh, thumbnail for the first couple streams, but I don't like it, so I want to do a better one. Look at the snake actually looking out for herself. I try. I mean, I would ask you guys to take care of your own health, so why wouldn't I? It would make me a hypocrite if I didn't. A very big hypocrite. And I don't think that would be right. You've done only three singing streams in a year, and the last one was more than six months ago. Even if the audio is enough to parse, I'm singing every now and then would be nice. Yeah, I guess I have to find a way, whatever way I can find to do more karaoke. It just really put a wrench in my operations when my... Uh, when my family's computer and everything started misbehaving a lot like that one stream that i had to start one hour late because the computer was completely frozen um and then the all of the next fest like testing i did on that house and it was a disaster i could barely do anything and i got so stressed that day that i like started fearing having to stream in that place i guess um okay so What's the process for a thumbnail? How, how do I normally tackle a thumbnail? First of all, we have a bazillion... We have a bazillion layers already. So, what I do is normally I start with... Where is it? Where is it? So I start with... That's not it. Okay, so I start with... I don't have the original... Uh, the original anymore, but I start with like the cover picture for the game, right? The cover picture for the game is this-ish. This is stretched so that it f fills out the entire screen and so that it matches the other one, but whatever. I found two versions. One of them is this one. It's more saturated and it has the logo of the company here. But it doesn't have the menu and the continue and everything, all of the options down here. So the other one that I found is this one. 
which does have the options here, but it doesn't have the logo here, and it has the logo of the game right there. Uh, so first I combined those two. Uh, now, it does, doesn't seem like it's combined very well, I know, but that is because the only part that I needed to fix was this right here. And through the... Um, through the copying and pasting of very specific places, like for example this one, this is a different layer. I don't know if you can see the difference. It's this. Right here, there's a little bit of a layer that I manually cut out so that I could cover those. And similarly, I did the same with this. Just made sure that when you see the, the whole thing, it looks cohesive. It looks coherent. I added this to cover this girl here because I then found another piece of promotional material, which is that one. This, this piece of promotional material is from like a different version or whatever, but it's still like official promotional material. So I cropped it and then in order to uh, make sure that this didn't bother, I just manually covered the pixels. You can see them. You can see them if you really pay attention. It looks fugly. It looks fugly because it's very diff it's de very difficult to like cover something that is so textured like this. But because it's a thumbnail, like in the end, it's going to be covered. It's not going to be visible. Like it's right there. Like you can't fucking notice that, right? Uh, then I noticed that I actually didn't like the logo the way it was. So I also covered that. Because if you see the logo right here, it gets covered by this. By the girl right here. It gets covered. And I didn't like that. So I covered the logo and I brought another logo separately. Which is right here. But then uh, it didn't have enough contrast, so I added that one. And what is this? Oh, I made this darker because it wasn't matching the other. Actually, it's still not matching all that well. Let me just... That's better. Uh, and then I added some darkness in here for the logo to uh, be a bit more visible and a little bit more of uh, saturation in this part so that the logo was more visible. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. That is where we're at so far. This is what I do when I want to craft a thumbnail that's going to have like a drawing on myself. I make sure that I grab as many assets as I need from like the official releases and I Frankenstein them to hell. To hell. This thumbnail is indeed better, IMO. Yeah, it is. It is definitely better. It does take a lot more work than just like grabbing the official cover and slapping my face on it. But, uh, in the end, I do prefer it, so that's why we are on it. So all of this, all of this is going to be the base background. Now I'm gonna do a new layer, a new folder that is going to be like myself, right? And first we're gonna have to color block it. First we're gonna have to color block it, or not color block it precisely, but... This is going to be the size of the thumbnail. You do have to look at it from afar because when you look at it on a phone or something, you know, it's just not going to be all that visible. So I cannot do much more than just like a bust. I'm gonna do it smaller and then I'm gonna stretch it a little bit. Uh, what kind of bust are we interested in? It's just so difficult for me to draw a bust without context. I guess I'm gonna have to draw it bigger and then move it. What do we want? Do we want something like this? Or do we want something looking up? Because she is looking up. She is looking up. So maybe the vibe we want is something like... Something like looking up. Or maybe looking down but with the head aim aimed up. Maybe something like... Like... like eyes looking up. Or... 
eyes looking down but with like the head aimed in that direction I think that might work I think that might work and then this was very anime so we have the shaft the shaft head neck breaking going on we could have shoulder and we could have a weapon the problem is we don't really get much of anything if we could at least get the ribbon in there so that it's clear that i'm dressed like the isekai like the isekai girls right if i could get like the red ribbon in there I think that, that, I think that might work as like a concept, noticing the ribbon and the, and the uniform mostly. Um, kind of feel ripped off since you advertise a singing VTuber, I want my time back! When did I advertise as a singing VTuber though? When did I advertise as a singing VTuber? I'm pretty sure I didn't even mention singing in my debut because I was very nervous at first. The first time I sung one song was on my first month anniversary, I think. I'm pretty sure because I remember being so nervous. Aggressively justifies our shortcuts. Of course I will. Of course I will. You need to learn how to cut corners and when to cut corners. Hope you're doing well, Ellie. I'm doing... Uh, my throat hurts when I swallow, which is very annoying. And I am eating a lot slower than I normally do. And it's very annoying. But, you know, overall, we're, we're good. Overall, we're good. Okay, this is an option. I think this could be an option. I don't know how well it works and if I could get a better idea. But so far, this is what we have. Uh, God damn it. Why am I struggling so hard with the head shape? Eh, whatever. Whatever. This might not be the, the final thing anyway, so might as well. Might as well do it quick and dirty. And get started on like a second idea? Just to see, because maybe, maybe this won't be it. Maybe this won't be it. So that would be one idea. Another idea could be... The generic school uniform! It is indeed the generic school uniform! Uh, you never did lol, but you do have a good singing voice and occasionally do something that makes me want to karaoke from you! I know, I know, I want to do a karaoke! Believe me, I do! I do! And I might uh, look for songs that I can sing at a low volume because one of my problems... One of my problems is that... Why am I- why am I so intent on doing something looking down? Why does my instinct go for something looking down? It doesn't fit the- the- the... It doesn't really fit the mood of the game. Something looking down. Unless I give her a weapon somehow, but I don't- I don't think so. This doesn't fit the mood. Something looking down doesn't fit the mood. This fits the mood a little bit more. It's still a disaster of a shape, but blah, 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 blah. again, we don't even know if this is going to be the composition. So we shut up and we accept it. We shut up and we accept it. What if it was something profile? Something profile. Looking, looking this way, right? But like, 
I'm looking for very anime-ish poses, right? Because Isekai and everything, so... Blah, blah, blah. And then this would allow me to have the stupid ribbon. Blah, blah, blah. Generic school uniform. What would the composition look like if I had something like this? What would... Would that be better? Would that be worse? Would that work? For us. Is this neck too long? Absolutely. It most definitely is. Again, the head shape doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get it fixed. We're gonna get it fixed later. All of it gets fixed later. Ah ha 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 ha. Wrong side to erase. I don't think it works better than this, though. I don't think it works better than that. Sorry, had an inspection, shaking my head. Also, making supper. I'll be driving along today. Uh, give me 10 more minutes or so to join the chat. Sure, I hope that your... What did you say that you were doing? Supper. I hope that your supper comes out really tasty. That it's really nice. Uh, make the face looking up at your internet history with a horror <laughs> expression or something. What makes you think I have a very horrifying internet history? What makes you think that? What makes you think that? Why? I am a very pure person. I only look for anime things and Shakespeare and Dracula and Padoru references and other references and... My, my, my history is... Not, a, I'm not ashamed of my history. There's nothing, there's nothing bad in there. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, no, seriously! Seriously! If anything, look, the most, the most shameful thing is you would maybe see all of the stupid questions that I Google. Because uh, any time that I have uh, anything, like absolutely anything at all uh, that happens, I will Google it. Like, just literally today, I was like, hmm, my throat hurt. No, yesterday, I think. Well, regardless, I was like, hmm, my throat hurts when I swallow. And I know that the joke is, I ah, never Google your symptoms on the internet because it's going to tell you that you have cancer. Well, I don't, I don't care. The first thing I'm gonna do is Google my symptoms on the internet to see if there's absolutely anything, any information that I could grasp from that. But any little thing that I don't know how to do or that I don't, that I'm not sure about, it's like my first and only recourse, recourse, resource is just to Google whatever, whatever I'm thinking of before thinking. Like I don't think about things. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. The only maybe shameful thing would be that I don't think for myself. I just let Google do the thinking. I don't try to figure things out. I, I let other people figure it out and then just Google the results of their of their Reddit conversations while they were figuring figuring things out. That is that is is bongus a bird. Exactly! That's the kind of things that I would be ashamed of showing. Just all of my little, my little silly questions. All of my stupid little questions that um, people should probably know already. Or all of my math. I don't know if that gets logged into your, your search history. Your math questions. But as soon as I have to do any math at all. Even if it's just like simple sums. I won't do it myself. I will put it in Google. I will plop it on Google right, right there and then and there. It's gonna be a lot of language questions as well. Do I even like this shape? Why am I working so hard for this shape when I don't think I even like it? I don't think I'm even happy with that shape, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because... We are going to be trying a lot of trial. We're going to do a lot of trial and error today. We're going to... I, I, I 
I've been very nervous about drawing streams lately because I know that I'm very bad at drawing without a bazillion different like trial and error just do something see how it looks erase it like there are people who know exactly what they're doing there are people who draw and they like know where they're going from the beginning and that only happens to me with TVs. With everything else, I'm like, hmm, I guess I'm just gonna do things. I'm gonna do lines and then we're gonna see what happens with those lines. Uh... Jaw... Jawline... Yeah... Uh, I think maybe I don't like the... Ah, there we go! There we go! That explains it. That's better. That's better. I wasn't liking the shape of the cheek. I wasn't liking the, the, the cheek... ...puff this... This little curve right here. Figuring out the axis is going to be another pain, but eh, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, we're not gonna think about it. We're not gonna think about it because we're not there yet. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's cut the head. Put it on its own layer. Because this is gonna save us a bunch of time. Gonna save us a bunch of time to have the head separately from the rest of it. Uh, probably the 83 gigabyte folder label feet. Jokes on you! I'm going to learn how to draw feet and you're not! Because I'm have, I have a reference folder. Actually, the reference folder that is the biggest in my, in my collection of references, I'm pretty sure is the hands references. I have so many hands references. Like, you have no idea just how big my hands folder is. Um, I wish I could draw to make a thumbnail. I just put my head or face over the character for the game I play. And that is another valid, like, way to do it. But I personally really like the idea of doing thumbnails with, like, drawing specifically for the thumbnail itself. I don't do it for every game anymore, and I don't do it for every episode of the game anymore. Uh, because, like, if it's not going to be longer than three or four streams, it doesn't feel worth it. There are so many other things that I could be drawing. Uh, there are so many assets, emotes, badges, all of these other things that I have to do, you know. Um, plus, at some point, I do want to change the the chibi that we have for the screens, for the BRB and everything. That's been with me since uh, debut. And I think I'm ready to let it go. I think I'm ready to change it, but I don't have the time to change it. So, you know, I just don't really use the time to draw a specific thumbnail for every single game anymore. Now I, now I use my time a little bit better. Uh, actually, to show a decently shocked and disgusted expression, the Adventure Time eye bags things look good. The Adventure Time eye bags thing. Adventure time iBox thing. I'm gonna Google that. I don't know what you mean. Adventure time iBags. Let me let me check if something comes up on Google. Do you mean? Do you mean this? Do you mean this? Is this what you mean? Because that's what I'm finding in Google. Uh, which welcome I are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. How are ya? Uh, or pay someone to make a thumbnail for me sometimes. That is understandable. How do Google results in Google? <laughs> you would think that that is a stupid question. But actually, you need to learn how to like find the good results on Google. Not every result on Google is good. Not every result on Google has the same value. Some of them are just shit. So you need to realize uh, 
which which results are trustworthy actually actually it's not wrong to to research how to research um just have the image you want to draw in your head then draw it easy easy peasy why are you making it so complicated ellie it's just two steps think and then draw done <laughs> I also don't like when people see that I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not uncommon that when I draw something and lose the vision of it halfway through. And so far, example, face or hairstyle is completely different than I imagined. Yeah, that happens a lot for me. And that's why I get nervous. Because it's just like, it's just like actually like really hard to understand what I'm doing until I've done it. Something is wrong with that. Something is wrong with that. Something is wrong with this neck. I don't like drawing like isolated busts. Is this a good bust? Is, is this anatomically fine? Is that looking okay? No, no, it's not. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. What are the arms doing? What are the arms doing in all of this? I don't know because it's just a stupid bust. So I don't really know what the arms are doing. What if the arms were just holding the knife? What if the arms were just holding that little knife that that we've been using lately for for the uh, bosses and everything? Would that be would that be bad? Would that be cowardly to just draw the, the, the focus to a knife? To a kitchen knife. How do I draw a kitchen knife? There. Kitchen knife. Would that be bad? Would that kind of ruin the, the mood? Oh that would cover the that would cover the uniform. That would be the bad thing about that. That would cover the uniform and it would be bad for us. If the uniform, if the uniform was covered. Da -da -da -da. Hand. Hand. Okay. That is a wha- That hand is whack! Let me just- It's a little bit better. Not significantly, but a tiny little bit. Three and four. Four fingers. There we go. There we go. And then... Okay. And then the hand, the, the arm would have to be somewhere there. And so this arm would end up being like here-ish. Right? Like this would be the uniform. The flowy like part of the... of the shirt with the the blue part and it would be awful it would be goddamn awful it does not work <sighs> um the feed folder never welcome my hello how are you doing hope you're having a good day crooked gamer welcome hi hello how are you doing hope you're having a good day am i very far Am I very far in the chat? Let's check. The first thumbnails were something else. They were. They were the beginnings. 
the very beginnings of my tiny little brain not realizing that uh, it was completely unsustainable. The, the first parts of uh, me not really knowing how much I was gonna want to do constantly all the time and thinking that it was a, a model that I wanted to follow. Um, the worst that could happen is you guys see my Google searches. The, the worst that could happen if you guys saw my Google searches is you realize how much dumber I am that you even think. And that's, that's a low bar because you guys already know that I'm pretty dumb. But it could be, it could be worse. You could, you could realize that it's worse. You know what I mean? You could realize that it's 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 bad. It's really bad. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Like, sure, it is bad, but I think anatomically it's looking a little bit better now. I think anatomically it's looking a little bit better. Is it? Uh, also, Ellie Googles VTuber feet. I googled feet, not VTuber feet. Feet for references. Foot ref dirty feet and sense should come on, come on. I literally watched a tutorial on Google about how to search in Google. Not exactly, but I have absolutely read articles on how to get the best out of Google. I have, I have actually researched what, how, like, how to find trustworthy sources on Google. And I'm not really good at googling either, by the way. I'm like. I'm pretty bad at noticing good, uh... I'm pretty bad at noticing what search terms are actually gonna give me the results that I need. Sometimes I have to Google something like five times until I actually find the best way to mention it, like to phrase it. Even yesterday, while I was googling, like, oh, my th my my throat hurts when I swallow. It's like, well, my throat hurts. And then, no, wait, specifically, my throat hurts while swallowing. And then I found in a different search, like, like, in one of the results, I found throat hurts when swallowing, but only on one side. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 no, that's actually better. That's more accurate to my situation. Uh, and so I end up refining my search basing on what I find on other searches. And that's why I like trying to research what other people have researched before. Because other people are better at Googling than me. To be 100% honest, how to use Google is not only something you need to learn, it's something that should be taught in schools. Absolutely! 100%! I think everyone should be taught how to actually use Google. Because people think it's uh, it's just as easy as typing something and that's it. But uh, the first results you're gonna get are most likely going to be ads. Then the other results you're probably gonna get are biased towards like trends or whatever, not necessarily good results. Sometimes you're gonna have to look for specific sources or like you're you're gonna have to figure out how to trust the info that you're that you're seeing. Gonna take a small nap, see you later. Ellie, thank you so much for being here, Leo. I hope you're doing a good siesta. I hope that you're feeling very well rested afterwards. I'm doing well just playing Pokemon Violet. I thought you had finished it, Kruka. I thought you had finished it today, yesterday. Googling health advice is not recommended pretty much ever. I know. I know, but it, I still do it every time. I can't help it. I can't stop myself. Okay, so that's not looking terrible. It's not looking terrible. I'm still not super happy with it, but it's not looking super bad. The ear is definitely wrong. Ear is definitely wrong. That's better. That's 
better, but not okay yet. I think I'm gonna do the face first. I think I'm gonna do the face. It's destructing me. Pointy snake ears. Wait. Pointy Lanya ears, you silly Billy. Asherman, welcome. Hi, hello. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, by the way, go to the hospital. Go Google your symptoms. I know. I know I shouldn't. But the thing is, I don't want to go anywhere unless the symptoms are uh, like long lasting. Because I also I had a vaccine yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Uh, I got a vaccine yesterday. So it could be that. So if it's gone in like 48 hours, according to the person who gave me the vaccine, that could be because of the vaccine and stuff. So if I, if I go and then it turns out that it was just because of the vaccine, I would feel very silly for wasting my time and for for wasting the, the hospital's time as well. So I'm not going to go just yet, but I am paying attention to it. I am being very, very mindful. I'm being careful with it, like a good, like a good snake. I'm being very mindful and very careful. Okay. I think this could work, but I think it could also work without the knife and, and stuff. I think it could also work without this. Wait, the head is in a different layer. I could just grab that. Uh, I think it could work without this. Like, if I take that out... I think that could be better, even. I think that could be cuter. I mean, sure, this is still a disaster, this, but we're gonna fix it about now by doing the anatomy, by doing the anatomy under it now that we have an idea of what we want. So now that I have an idea that I want the shoulders-ish, right there-ish, I'm gonna grab the, the collarbone. Collarbone goes from the shoulder to the center of the chest. Right, okay. So that's pretty... That's pretty much the line of the collarbone. And then the rest of the torso... I draw in regards to the collarbone. And that would be the torso. And then when the collarbone ends, it meets the shoulder. And what is the shoulder doing? The hand is going this way. I think. So that is the armpit. And that is the arm. Gonna make it all a little bit... I think one of my problems is that I can't really look at what I'm doing if I'm cutting it off so early. So. So. Okay. So. If this is the torso, which is a little bit small, but that's fine for now. If this is the torso. And then this is the armpit that meets the shoulder. And that's the shoulder. And then the arm goes out like this. And then the other armpit would be around here. And then the booba. Meets with that. And then the other booba. It's right there. Okay. And then the other shoulder. It's just like there. Okay, I think that 
kind of works, but now I think the shoulder might be a little bit too tilted. So maybe we move all of this a little bit down. A little bit more relaxed. It is a tense situation, but it could still be a little bit more relaxed. Okay, I think that's better. I think that is better. Hey, Vujana's Neto, welcome! Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day! Uh... There's a saying, at least here in Poland, not sure if it's where or what, that goes, The college starts where Google ends. I don't think I've heard it before. Uh, I don't think I've heard it before. And I don't think I understand exactly what it means. As someone whose family deals with medicine for generations, let me tell you, people that Google their symptoms and decide they know their health are very, very difficult. No, 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 I understand that. I would never pretend to know more than what a, an actual doctor says, you know? Like, if I think, oh, maybe I have this thing, I'm not going to go to a doctor and say, hey, you're wrong because I Googled this, you know? Like, I'm not going to be that person. But... I don't know if I have to go to the doctor every single time I feel some sort of inconvenience. And that's where I Google myself. Because it's like, if I can, like, not have to go to a doctor, I'd rather not have to go to a doctor. Uh, and then if I have to go to a doctor, that's a different thing. But uh, I don't like wasting my time and, and having to be in a waiting room and also wasting the doctor's time. Every time I go to a doctor and they're like, oh yeah, this is common, just take painkillers and it will go away in, in two days. It's like, well, I could have done that. <laughs> well, I didn't need to do this and take your time and take my time just for that. Uh, I don't know if it's a bad attitude to have, but it just annoys me. It just annoys me. Okay, I think this is... I think this is fine. I'm gonna refine it on the same layer, because after all, there's going to be clothes on top anyways. So I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to cover it later. But knowing if I'm liking the shapes is really important, so... That shape, and then this shape, and then this, this shape. And then... The other side, okay. Jesus, what the frick are the people outside doing? What the frick are my neighbors doing? Can you hear that? Are they moving their entire freaking furniture? What is... What is going on? What's going on? Anyways. I think I'm alright with this side. I think this side is good. I think it looks fine. I think this, this side looks, looks okay. I think it's lacking, like, personality and an action line. But with a bust... With a bust, I'm really bad at doing those things. Personality and... Emilio Almedo, hola, bienvenido, espero que tengas un buen día, buen, bien, buenas, buenas. Um, we can hear it, yeah, sure can. What the frick are they doing? They've come for you, Ellie. They say your Google searches on your dirty face folder. <laughs> and because of that, they had to rearrange all their furniture. Is that how it works? Is that how it works? What the fuck are they doing? Yeah. <sighs> uh, actually, I finished the story the night before yesterday, but there's still some post-game content to see in Pokemon Violet because now I have to beat all the gym leaders and champion against the super boss. Super boss! Damn! Basically, if your profile at uni is specialized enough, even Google won't be able to help you. I know something about it myself. Mm, you know something about it because your profile is very specialized. At least doing her best is always love it. Road roller down. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I am trying. I am trying very hard. Uh, when I moved into my last place, I had neighbors that seemingly were very passionate about drilling. They drill every day for hours on end, every single day for a few months. Maybe they were doing some huge project that our minds kind of. 
our our worldly minds cannot comprehend uh, but it's that that is very annoying that is very annoying there are sometimes drilling noises in here, but thankfully, uh, I don't think they ever last more than like a day or two. So it's probably small on the day repairs that people do, not really big projects. Until the day I have a neighbor doing a big project and that day, uh, that day I'm gonna have to eat my words and it's gonna suck because it's gonna stop my streaming. Or heavily rearrange it, I think, if it happens. Okay, now we're gonna refine this shoulder and see and see if it's actually looking good or if all of the construction lines are lulling me into a false sense of security. Because that could happen. I could be thinking that the, the, the anatomy is better than it is because of the construction lines being there still, but then you erase them and you're like, oh, no, 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 this looks like crap. So I guess we're gonna see, I guess we're gonna see. It is already quite different from the shoulder that I had before, so I am feeling confident. I am feeling confident in that, but I'm not gonna feel super confident. So. Then this armpit connecting to that. That would be fine to keep for now. For now, it would be fine to keep for now because uh, at the end of the day, we're gonna have clothes in here. So it's not even gonna be useful. It's not, not even gonna be important. That would be the arm, and then that would be the torso. And I think this needs to be a little bit thicker, but other than that, should be fine, right? It looks good enough. It looks good enough? Yeah! It looks, it looks adequate. It looks adequate. I think she needs a face, before I understand what's going on. Before I understand what's going on, I think she needs a face. I also think this needs to be even thicker. She needs to have an actual arm, not a... Not a broomstick. I think there. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Is the knife still working? Absolutely not, because I moved, ah ha ha ha. Moved it all. Could be a thing. Don't know if I want it to be a thing. I don't think I want it to be a thing. I mean, if you look at it, the, if you look at the whole thing, this could be could be a thing, right? Like, could be that this is here and here. I'm gonna be doing this very quickly and it's gonna look bad, but it could be that this is that and that is that. So no, it couldn't be because then this would have to be here. That's where it would have to be. And now that I know that, if I move all of it here, that makes more sense, right? Right? That could be it. I still don't know if I like the idea of holding a knife because that goes against our, oh no, I'm just, no, wait, 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 there. It's like, oh no, I'm just a poor, poor girl that was brought into this world against my will to be sacrificed to some dark lady. This is not what I wanted. I don't know why I'm here. I'm just trying to survive. You know, so maybe maybe having a knife goes against that, that whole innocent, innocent uh, damsel persona that the game has going for it. I don't know, I don't know. Um... My neighbor from above, oh, uh, granted the place had had a very, very hard walls, but that's still a lot of drilling. Also has to prepare for the seven star Charizard raid. Seven star Charizard raid. That's a thing from Pokemon, right? From silver? No, Violet. We're talking about Pokemon Violet. My neighbor from above has an irresistible urge to use his drill at least once every three months. <laughs> is he, is he a carpenter or someone who does a lot of like, Arts and craft or something? Ah, 
also, since I was not able to hear it, did I successfully manage to throw you off in your intro? Yes! Yes, you did! I was so upset that I was muted, partly because of that! Partly because of that! I know! I know that you guys like it when I get startled, and I didn't even get to show you a frog of by the way, I don't pretend to be startled. I wasn't startled, startled though this time because I was doing my intro. It did shock me out of my, like, routine. I start my intro, right? And I already, at this point, because I've been doing this for a year, I already get an automatic intro going. Like, once I start talking, it just automatically, like, I say the first few words and then my, my brain auto-completes My tongue auto-completes it without my brain. It's like, blah, 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 And that's why uh, I end up saying things like, uh, hey, how are you doing? Three times, even after people have answered, right? Like, people have already answered, but my automatic response is always like, not response, my automatic goes to... Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great, a, a great day. And then you answer and it's like, Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I hope you're having a great day. It's like, they already told you, you idiot. They already told you. But it's because at this point, uh, my speech automatically just continues. Right? Uh, and so what happened, because you couldn't hear it, was that I got completely thrown off my, my speech, right? My automatic speaking. Um, and I just, I messed up. I don't remember exactly how, but I messed up and, and it was one of those, like, word vomit interrupted, word vomit functioning wrong kind of situations. I really wish I hadn't started the freaking stream muted! It's so hard to explain. Because I, like, I'm barely conscious of what's going on. <laughs> So it's really hard to explain it afterwards. Okay, so this finger would end up being there ish. Um, this. Would be there ish. And there. This would and sooner there and then there. There and there. <laughs> Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt my throat. I'm sneezing like that. Liz just sneezing in general. My my throat contra I don't know if that happens to you guys, but when I sneeze, I definitely not normally, because normally you don't feel your own goddamn throat. That's that's one of the signs that something's wrong. You feel muscles that you normally don't really feel throughout the day. And oh god, I felt my throat contracting because of the knees, and that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. If this continues, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be checking how I feel after the stream. And if this continues by Monday, I will absolutely be canceling the stream to go to a hospital or something. Because it definitely shouldn't last more than... Well, 48 hours would be until tomorrow night-ish, tomorrow afternoon, but with a lot of wiggle room. Okay, above there. Um, from the little bits I have seen, the knife doesn't go against your character. I don't think it is against the character, but I also don't think I'm, I'm... I'm not sure I'm gonna keep the knife. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it. Um... I'm, I'm just a poor, innocent schoolgirl with an unhealthy fondness for cutting up the mini culinary class. I... We don't know anything about what kind of person she was, though. Like, we have no idea. She could have been a monster, but we don't know. We don't know that. This part is way too big for the other part of the hunt.
I mean, now it's way too small. Now it's way too small. Okay. I'm gonna have to gather a bunch of references again. Ugh. Christian Wolfolk, welcome. Hello. No. Christian Wolfolk. Welcome. My hello. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Make it a cleaver. Just become rosy. Become rosy. I could. I mean, it doesn't fit in the thumbnail, I don't think. I don't think it's gonna fit. I also really don't think I'm gonna put the knife in there, because it's basically the same thing without the knife. I think that it's gonna work better without the knife. Uh, that said, I'm not super into the story of the game myself. Uh, it's not really at my alley. Uh, no, he's not. No idea what the hell he's using the drill for. Maybe he has very, very interesting little handcrafty projects that you never get to see. How was your Thanksgiving? Christian, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving because I'm not in the United States. Uh, but I hope your Thanksgiving was great. Is this your first time here? Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the bed. Welcome. I'm drawing a bunch of TVs, then to be exact, and I'm having fun with this. Even though I usually am really bad with TVs, guess it's due to the fact that I am stealing designs someone else came up with. I mean, as long as the, the stolen designs, quote-unquote, don't end up in your... Um... In your finalized product with you claiming credit, that should be fine. If it's just for fun, for fun art, for practice and everything. Um, but the most important thing is to have fun and to get your hands loose. As you keep drawing, you're notice you're gonna notice yourself getting faster and better. I mean, normally figuring out anatomy like this a year ago would have taken me so long. But now, I really think I am digging that. I really think that's that's fine, anatomically speaking. I really think that's good. I really think that's okay, and I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, this doesn't need to be anymore, so now we're gonna use it as the clothes layer. I'm gonna hide this a little bit. And then, how does this go? It has... And that's this thing, right? And it goes pretty deep into the chest. Right? This thing goes pretty deep into the chest. We're gonna try to do kind of clean lines so that we don't have to clean the lines a lot later. This goes very deep into the chest because... It's not entirely open. It has... If I clean this line, so we'll be able to do it all on one layer. And that would be... That would be a win. That would be a win for me right now, here on this day. It would be the absolute win, actually. Because the more I can do today on stream, the more... The less I have to do after stream. But I hope I... I hope I... Uh, I showed you guys... Kind of like how I approach game thumbnail making there is another case which is cases in which i try to incorporate myself into the thumbnail like on the like on the mighty goose thumbnail in which like i saw the tank and i was like oh i'm gonna replace that goose that's going to be the concept okay so now the other thing is here ish i think there's this little fabric here. This, this this little fabric here, right? This triangle of white fabric. So we have that. We're gonna use it to... Ah, ha, ha, that's a nice shape. That's a nice shape. That's very fabric-y. Fabric-ish. And then we're gonna add the Joker, my Joker, because it is me. Are we gonna do the Joker? I think we're gonna do the Joker. I think we are going to do the Joker because it is me after all. So why not draw myself with my beloved web, my my beloved weapon? That's not a weapon. It's not a weapon. My beloved gem. Uh, 
Oh, it might be a bit too clunky though. It might be a bit too clunky. I might have to leave it out. Just because it's uh, like a lot. It's a lot. There's gonna be hair everywhere. I think it might be uh, off. Um, did you watch Thanksgiving Day Parade? Yes or no? No, I didn't. It's not a thing in my country. Uh, sounds like I succeeded in my goal though. As long as you're having fun, you definitely did. Muted Ellie is also cute. What do you mean muted? Uh, bless you, bless you. Oh, I'm far behind. Uh, I'm far behind. Um, not gonna lie, that was a cute sneeze despite how painful it was. I'm sorry. Uh, why am I apologizing? You're saying it was cute. Thank you. Thank you. I always say thank you when you guys say that my cute, my sneezes are cute. Because I've told this story before, but I've worked hard for them to be cute. I train myself. This is something that I specifically trained for. Christian Wolfel came first place in soccer. Congratulations. What school girl would you cosplay? Ooh. Ooh, that is a question. That is a question. Okay, so let's let's get started with the obvious things. I would not cosplay Cerebella. I would not cosplay Parasol. I would not cosplay Umbrella. I would not cosplay... Painwell could be interesting. Because it would be fun to have to figure out how to do all of the stitches as realistic special effects makeup. And it would be a challenge to have to figure out how to do the wheels. It would be a very big challenge. Um, I think Painwheel could be interesting. Then Squiggly. Oh, Squiggly is really cute. Squiggly's outfit is really cute. Peacock also would be fun, and the dress is really cute. <gasps> no, no, that's uh, no, no, no more questions, no more questioning, no more thinking about it. I would cosplay one of the one of the pictures of Annie of the Stars, one of the one of the autograph uh, abilities, the the one that I like the most, the one with the high ponytail. That that is the one. That is the one. That's what I would like to do. If I could cosplay one of this one of the schoolgirls, it would be specifically the high ponytail version of any of the stars that she has on the special autograph attack. Yep, there we go. Um, it is your first time. Welcome, them, Christian. Does Ellie dig with a shovel, or does she just borrow into the burrow, burrow, burrow into the ground? I don't normally do either. I have done it, don't get me wrong. I've definitely done it in my life, but I don't normally do either. Uh, now that I live amongst humans, you know, and even before I lived among humans, we had our own little society with, with like, with like houses and everything. Um, and, and normally we prefer living on structures than on, on the ground itself. It was a great place to hide when I was a small, a small, young, little hide-and-seek playing Lamia, but not necessarily a good, a good place to live when you could have structures. Um, I love your life, Alicia. Thank you so much, Jonas. I think creative streams are nice. I think, I think they are a nice change of pace. I think it's good to mix and match because if, if all I was doing is playing I think it would get stale eventually uh, so that's why I like mixing uh, drawing streams and talking streams and it's been a while since we've done a tier ranking although that's another type of talking stream and and we still have to do that uh, ranking the Pokemon uh, all of the gen 1 Pokemon that's gonna take like two or three streams Surely, because there's so many of them. Um, I do not have any friends at all, okay? I'm sure that you will eventually, Christian. I'm sure that you will find friends. Just find people that you have interests that you, that you have the same interests with. Uh, like different classes, for example. You could you could take a, a course outside of school and find people who are interested in that.
Does this count as a choker? I've always thought more of it as a chain for a chain for your necklace. I don't know if it's because like English not being my first language, if I uh, don't know the proper term. But in my in my mind, it's always been like choker is anything that hugs the neck. Any any like accessory that is supposed to be like a necklace, but it hugs the neck, I call a choker. That's what I understood the word was. So if I'm wrong, very sorry uh, for calling it a choker this entire time. But as far as I understand it, is any necklace kind of accessory that hugs the hugs the neck. Um, I'm really going to cry because I do not have any friends at all. You will. Listen, listen, Christian, you will. I was very, very bullied when I was young. Like, I was a big, big uh, target for all of the people in my community. Um, and I didn't have friends for the longest time. I didn't have friends that I could spend time with. Even when I got friends, they were friends in like... Uh, other classes, so I couldn't meet with them all that often. We didn't have school together, and I was stuck with my bullies. Uh, and then we didn't really have that opportunity to do work, class, uh, class works together, and projects and shit. But, but, and this is important, eventually you will find something, some sort of interest or something that will allow you to start meeting people that are like-minded. And you're gonna find friends. You are going to. It's just a matter of being patient and trying new things. Trying new groups of people until you find the ones that are on your same frequency. There are people out there for everyone. There are people out there for everyone. And it just takes a while to find, you know? I didn't find my true friends, my real friends, the ones that I still call friends today. I didn't find them until I started going to my own... Um, activities that I chose myself instead of being limited by my class and everything. So I know that eventually you will too. Uh, by the way, it reminds me, it's been like a year ago, but I saw a girl in the bus wearing elf ears. Not cosplaying an elf, normal dress, but with elf ears. I don't know if fashion or forgot to take them off, but seeing it at first, I thought it's a little out there. But then I thought, actually, how is it any different than any other jewelry? Justice, justice for ear accessories. I've retweeted someone saying this before, but like, I wish people weren't this, like, so afraid to wearing whatever out there. Like, who says that cosplay is just for events? I know that the reason is like, oh, you put a lot of time and effort into it and you want it to be seen and appreciated. You don't want it to be dirty or risk harming it while you're outside doing normal things and people aren't even gonna appreciate it. They're gonna give you the stink eye, etc, etc. But honestly, like, I really wish it was more common to see people dressed as whatever. Like, who cares? Fashion! What, what is fashion? Everything should be... Everything should be on the rules. Anything and everything should be wearable. I wish you saw people dressing like an elf on the bus. Like capes. Let's let's bring capes into normal normal day use. I wanna see Lolitas on my bank queue. You know what I mean? Actually, I don't wanna see anyone in my bank queue. I want any queues that I have to go to to be empty so that I can be done with it as soon as possible. But you know what I mean? If I have to do a queue, I want to see Lolitas in there. I want to see people cosplaying, people wearing medieval capes, people using elf ears. Whatever makes people happy. Why not seeing someone dressed as a sci-fi futuristic alien? Why not? If it's fun, you know? Should this have any wrinkles? Maybe. Maybe. I hate drawing wrinkly clothes. I don't like it. I don't like wrinkles. Squiggle sounds pretty difficult to cosplay. Yeah, she does, but it's cute. she's cute. You should carry a big cardboard with the photo to make it more true. Yes! And slap the fans of the face with it. Yes! I hope you appreciate Slowpoke as much as I do. I don't think I do. Is Slowpoke the one with the big tongue? 
The pink one with a big with a big tongue. I don't know, you guys. I I am very not knowledgeable in Pokemon stuffs, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay. If I do that, and then I erase this. And then I bonk this a little bit out. Eh, eh. I don't think it works. I don't think that works at all. But we're trying. We're trying to do the lines clean already. I don't know if you noticed. I'm trying to get out of this stream with a fully realized line art. Or at least, like, whatever I do draw that it doesn't require any more work to clean up i don't want to have to clean up anymore <laughs> after this um if you're young you're going to have friends no matter what you do and if you're not young you're still gonna be able to find people finally validation to wear my plague mask around exactly i mean it wear your plague mask who cares I think everyone should be happy with whatever they wear. And if what's gonna make you happy is carrying a plague mask, then do it. Why not? I think this idea of having to conform to whatever, like, whatever boring fashion of the of the of the moment, so soulless, so soulless. It's not necessary. Um, and then three people dressed as one Lamia, that would be very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable for a lot of people, wouldn't it? I always thought in near future and science fantasy settings and think, why don't we have clothes like that? Right? We don't have clothes like that because people are afraid to dress outside of whatever's trending moment. And what a waste, isn't it? Isn't it such a waste? Isn't it so much fun if we can do whatever we want? I mean, the reason... The reason high fashion isn't used on the streets, and I'm going to I'm going to say this as if it was true, even though it probably isn't, it's just because it's expensive. But I, do you have any idea the power trip that it would give you to be just doing I don't know, going to the bakery to buy bread with a freaking high fashion dress? That would be so kick ass. I would love it if people would dare. I would love it if people would dare do that. Okay, I am learning right now, right here, right now, that I need to do some... some... Uh, clothes studies pretty soon. Because I am bad at this. Pretty soon I would have to do some clothes studies specifically. This is bad. It's pretty bad. Whatever! Whatever! We're not gonna- we're not gonna hyper-focus on it! We're not gonna get stressed! We're gonna keep going! We're gonna just keep going! Is that too long of a sleeve as well? Not really. Yes, really? If you look at this girl... It's not too long of a sleeve because it reaches about about the halfway mark of the arm like that is it reaches about the halfway mark but if you look at this girl oh it's also about halfway mark so it's okay what about this yeah it's about the halfway mark it's okay. We can keep going. We can keep it going. Shh, fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, we should bring back chaperones. What is chaperones? 
Willow's Willow Whisper. Welcome. Hi, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Also, I think it's the first time I see you here. Hello, hello. I hope you enjoy your time. Welcome to the channel. To be honest, I own a lot of very extra goth clothes, but I often am too shy to wear them outside out of Halloween or special occasions. It definitely should be more normal to wear fun clothes and outfits. What sort of clothes do you wish you could wear more? Fantasy clothes! Big ass capes! Big ass dresses! I know that it's com complicated for me to wear big ass dresses that, that hit the floor because, you know, Vanya with the, with the whole fabric being uncomfortable to just drag around. But in general, just like... Just like interesting dress silhouettes that aren't just, I don't know, the modern silhouettes. And you know what, what silhouette is really freaking cute and you don't see it anymore? The 50s diner US like poodle skirts and stuff. You never see that stuff anymore. It's so cute. Why can't we wear that stuff? Why can't we wear things like that outside? I want to. I think we should, I think we should just use whatever. But big ass wizard capes? Yeah, that. That, big ass wizard capes. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wish it was more normal. Absolutely wish it was something that I saw around. Um, That would be Lick a Tongue. Ah, oh, I'm confused. Slowpoke is a pink one with the lost face. I don't know if I know which one that is. As I've said before, the only the only reason I knew Pokemon was the cute ones. Minus and plusly specifically. Okay, so then we do a ribbon. We're gonna do a different actually layer for the ribbon. We're gonna do like there-ish. There is. Then it has some some fabric going into like here. It has some fabric twisting around and going inside of the lapel or the neck or the collar or whatever it's supposed to be called. Um. Mm. Mm. Uh, not sure if this is looking good, but oh, I should be hiding this. That's better. Okay, so this should be more like that. Although that's a little bit much. So we're gonna do it more like there. And actually, I don't think I like any of it. <laughs> I don't think I like any of it. Then let me start again. Let me start again. Um, I have worn bright red, black, fat pants and UV clothing in public before. I really don't care if people watch. Lol. That's the attitude. That's the attitude we should all have. Shiny bunny. No name. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing, guys? I hope you're having a good day. Hi, Alicia. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. My throat hurts when I swallow, but other than that, I'm good. Uh, Slowpoke is the one whose evolution just adds a shell biting on its tail. Ah! I don't think I like Slowpoke that much. It's not cute enough. It's not cute enough. Good evening, either way, hello, hello, no name, and hello, shiny bunny. Which, by the way, fun fact, may not be true. The Pokemon biting Slowpoke's tail is canonically shelter, but it does not look like a shelter. Originally, it was supposed to be its own Pokemon. So it was going to be a, a, a Pokemon, but then they just decided to make it part of some other Pokemon's evolution. What a downgrade. Um, when you get old enough, getting friends becomes harder. People get married, overwhelmed by work, etc. I know, but there's always a chance. There's always a chance of discovering someone who shares your own interests. There's always the, there's always the opportunity. Um, slow bro. 
would really be just a slowpoke with a bitten tail. What a downgrade! If I was that Pokemon, I would be so upset. I don't even get my own, like, my own person. I just become someone else's evolution. Oh! Oh! Never cared about trends? Me neither. Usually they're not even all that different from what we were today. Just different colors. Sometimes a light strip on the elbows or something. Maybe a veil. I don't know, man. I just... I want more interesting silhouettes. I want to see people with bomber skirts. I want to see people with, like, crazy silhouettes. I want... I don't want everyone to wear shoulder plates. Shoulder plates? You know in the 80s when they used to, like, really bulk up their shoulders? I'm not saying everyone should do it, but why isn't it part of some people's closet? Why does everyone have to wear the same thing? Louis, welcome, my hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day! Hearing you say whatever reminds me of an episode of Disney's Recess? Why? Whatever is a pretty common word. There'd have to be a very, very long... Dress? Dress. Dress. Yeah, I know. Unless it's short in the front and long in the back, maybe easier to move, since if you had a full dress, I think you'd tear through them on a weekly basis. I know, that's why I can't, I can't really wear anything that is like, uh, like long up to the floor. It is, it is one of the saddest things, and one of the reasons why I want to become a human eventually. By the way, when I say become a human, guys, I'm not saying that I would stop being Lamia. I would just gain the ability to shapeshift, just like I do with cat years. I can just shape shift back and forth once I've actually learned to shape, you know. But I would really love to have that option. If I were a human, I could use long, long dresses that meet the floor and have trains behind them and everything. Okay, now. This needs a fabric that goes inside. Okay, just like that. That is good. And then over here. And then maybe that one doesn't end. But maybe there's another line here. I don't know. I don't know. Twisting fabric. Twisting fabric. Twisting fabric. It should twist. It should twist. Like that, kind of. But that makes it look almost like a braid, and I'm not sure that's the mood. I'm not sure that's the. That's. Oh, there. There, a little, a little wrinkle always helps. Little wrinkle always comes through. I like it enough. Like it enough with that little wrinkle. It adds enough personality to the twistiness. It should also probably have some. Some loop there ish. Okay. Okay. Now that side is done. Now that side is done. Kind of. That's, that's a little bit dirty, but that's fine. I can. Mm, no, it's not fine. <laughs> it's not fine because I don't want to have to keep track of what things are clean and what things are not clean. Since everything else I've cleaned up so far, I don't want to start messing up with the with the cleanliness of the lines because I'm gonna forget and then it's gonna it's gonna make me waste a lot of time. Okay, there. And then on this side, it just it will just go like that, and then like this. And then this is gonna have its own, like... And then... Hmm... Hmm... I think there... I think 
there. And then something like that, maybe. Hi, chat, chat! Okay. The new Power Rangers team seems to have capes. Can't wait to see what their suits look like. Power Rangers are still getting done? Capes do sound a little bit dangerous, but there's a lot of other stuff people can wear. I think capes are fine on day-to-day -day life. Not if you're fighting super villains. I have learned it, Namo. Don't come for me. However, I think for daily life, it should be fine. Not if you're like someone who works on a dangerous position. Like if you're working with a lot of physical labor, maybe not the best choice for you. But I think for most people, if you're going to sit in an office, for example, you could, you could use a cape. I think you could use a cape. I think it's probably fine. Right? Um, those are fighting words out of Ellie. Slow folks do not get upset. I do. I, f I get upset for them then. I would get upset. I don't know talking about the slow folks though. I think I'm talking about, uh, like the, the, the Pokemon that was going to be its own thing and then they got relegated to evolution of some other Pokemon. I think that's, that's the one we need to get upset for. That's the poor buddy who deserves a little bit of defense. This is pretty bad, actually. Not super sure I'm liking it, but whatever. It's also such a tiny part of the drawing. It's also such a, a tiny little thing, it probably doesn't even matter. Then we have... The bow. We have... The, the bow. Okay, there. There, that should be fine. That should be a-okay. Uh, what do we need to make? Something here? Yeah, yeah, we do. I'm gonna make da 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 And then wrinkle. Wrinkle, wrinkle. And then the booba. And then over here, also, da, 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 and then wrinkle for the armpit, wrinkle, wrinkle for the armpit, and then another, another wrinkle for the armpit there. That's too big. Okay, there and there. Okay, and that should do it with the body. That is it for the body. That's it. That's done. All right, now I really have to figure out the face. Damn it. <laughs> um, to be fair, when he evolves again, he wears the fish on his head and becomes a psychic king. But the fish is still just part of someone else's ev evolution. That is still sad. That is still so sad. Don't you think? Okay. Ellie become human, wrinkles are hot. Oh no, I'm very, very slow on the chat. Okay. Let me catch up, and it's not because I'm procrastinating in the face! It's not! I'm just trying to catch up with the chat, okay? <laughs> um... Oh shit, I wasn't even... I wasn't even that far from the bottom of the chat. I wasn't even going that poorly! Damn it! Okay. We're doing the face! <laughs> A lot of stuff happening in daily life, all the vehicles around. Hmm, are the vehicles that dangerous for capes? Um, and the reference not saying for IRL. No, no, I understand the and the reference. I said it myself, and that don't come from me. I also agree that it's not a good idea to wear capes if you're gonna be fighting crime. I definitely agree with that. But that being said, most people are probably gonna be safe enough. Probably most people are gonna be safe enough with capes. Capes, robes, that sort of thing. I think most people would be fine. Okay, I'm gonna make this less visible. I'm gonna grab the face. And what kind of expression? Worried? Triumphant? 
confused untrustworthy uh, my progress has been very slow that's okay as long as you're having fun that's what matters lustful no 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 i refuse now i'm thinking about how depressing it is for paris to evolve into parasect i don't recognize those pokemon it's pretty iconic that ellie doesn't like slowpoke i just don't think he's that cute i just don't think he's that cute yandere face i already did a yandere face for my cult of one one evil smirk an evil smirk could that work i mean we are technically Technically, the innocent damsel who was teleported here against our own will. You guys, we're just looking for... Well, we're looking for our memories, right? So maybe something more along the lines of confused or worried. Maybe something more along the lines of confused or worried. I'm going to be trying a new style of nose. I'm going to be trying Everyone and their mothers nowadays is doing just this little triangle thingy. Not just, not just for the coloring, but for the placing of the nose. And you know what? I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try it. Don't know if I'm gonna like it in the end, but you know, gotta attempt. No, I can't. <laughs> it's distracting. It's distracting me too much. I'd rather have that little dot right there for placement. Um, that wasn't agenda. It just that was just unhinged. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Slowpoke is very cute, and we will make sure you know what that when the rating comes. I'm going to rate it rate it better just because of you. It's gonna be out of fear. It's gonna be out of fear. Looking forward to Moemon Moe review. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but I know that I, it's still pending. It's still p pending. Um, unless you're talking about another thing. Still looking forward to Moemon review. Moemon? Have we talked about something called Moemon? I don't know if I recognize that name. I don't know if I recognize that as a name. Moemon. Moemon. Have you talked to me about it and I forgot? <gasps> oh shit, we've definitely talked about this and I forgot! Oh, I love it. Oh, we're gonna. Okay. I warn you though. I warn you. Based on the very quick, very quick look on Google. Based on just a very, very quick cursory look on Google to understand what we were talking about, I'm probably gonna rate everything high. <laughs> it's probably one of, gonna be one of those in which I'm gonna have to be very strict, but also I won't be able to be strict enough. Probably. Okay. So far, I'm looking this eye more than that one, but we're we're on the way. We're on the way. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna give her some eyebrows for the expression. This eyebrow is way, way too close to the other one. We're gonna move it. And we're gonna... Yeah, for now that's fine. For now that's fine. 
it's absolutely not fine. It's absolutely horrible. Let me... Uh, let me make this one shorter. That's better. Also, roller. Okay, okay. So far I'm liking... So far I'm liking this eye. Let's see if I can like the other one as well. And then the rest of the face is also kind of bad, but uh, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Rome isn't built in a day, and neither are my drawings. They take some time. Okay, that's better. I think that's better. I think that I was too low. I think if I rotate this a little bit also, and if I move in a little bit, it's better. I think this needs to be tilted a little bit down there. Okay, I think that's not bad as a sketch. I think it's not bad as a sketch. Um, an evil smirk and a knife with the blood of gnome children on your lips? No! No, I'm so sorry! Um, so, Philia? 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 Where did Philia come from? Uh, the, the, uh, the topic. Schoolgirls was a topic, but a while back. Uh, that complete with the loading wheel. Empty expression with a loading wheel. We could try. I mean, we could try. But I don't think, I don't think it would be a bit too goofy. Okay, now I'm gonna do a different layer for the eyes. Is that working? I think that is working. I think that is working. Okay, okay. I think that's working fine enough. Let's bring the head back, delete this. Delete those. Now that we see where the rest of the face is, the ears are gonna make a lot more sense. All right. And this doesn't really matter because it always gets covered by my hair anyways. And talking about hair. Talking about hair. That would be... Actually, let me do that in a different folder layer. Uh, 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 that would be the forehead. Is that too small of a forehead, though? I think that's too small of a forehead. Let me, let me, let me, let me fix this head a little bit. Needs a little bit of fixing. And it needs a little bit of working. That... That is going to be better. And then from here to there. Better shape. There, a better shape. And then... The rest of the skull that we don't really care that much about because it's just a guide for the hair. It's just a guide for the hair, so we don't have to care too much about it. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter if the lines are ugly. Okay! There we go. That's a better forehead. So now... I think that's better. 
think that's I think that's probably better. Yeah, that's better. The skull is still uh, kind of wrong, but as I said before, do we even care? Do we even care? It's just a guy for the hair. It's just the guy for the hair. Doesn't need to be perfect. By the way, I haven't saved the entire stream. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that indeed. There we go. Um, it's a band that gets the life sucked out of it by the mushroom on its back, and the evolution is the mushroom having complete control over the bug's body. That is creepy. Which Pokemon? I missed out on understanding that one. Uh, we have a Pokemon mod originated with Jen uh, that replaces Pokemon with Moe girls. Elephant girling is the point of the list, anyways. Good point. Good point. I just, I just warn you because if anyone cares about the list being, you know, ruthless and having people, uh, having items in every category, including the bad ones, I don't think that's gonna happen with Moemon. I, I just don't think it's gonna happen. I think they're all gonna end up having good categories. So you aren't going to finish today, isn't it? this like the 16th chapel? We're not finishing today, but like we did practically the whole thing. I did make sure that the lines were clean on everything bottom down. Like everything from the neck down is clean. It's perfectly clean. I only need to erase like these layers. Like there and there. And that's it. Like, it's pretty clean. Let me also look at that one. Okay. It's pretty much as clean as it's gonna get. Sure, it could be a little bit cleaner. Tiny little bit cleaner. But overall, like, it's done. There is a layer that I'm keeping very transparent that is not supposed to be there, but that is uh, literally just a matter of hiding the layer. Oh no, I can't! I can't just hide the layer, the layer because I, I made the neck in there. Okay. Easy solution. Grab the neck. No, it's not an easy solution. It's not an easy solution. I'm just gonna make a duplicate, hide that one, and then in this one, just delete everything. There! Easy solution! Where did the freaking collarbone go? That's the one thing I wanted to not... The one thing I wanted to not delete. Oh, it's all hidden under clothes, so it's fine. It's fine. We are deleting it. It's fine. It's okay. Blah blah blah. There we go. So everything under the head is completely done. The face is also well placed enough that I can just ref like refine it a little bit, and then for the hair. For the hair, now that we do have the hairlines, gonna do like that, 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 and that. Just, just blocking it for now. Just blocking it and, uh... Oh, jeez. Wait, it's... It's still a sh little tiny as a forehead. It's still not really... 
still really not a long enough forehead, is it? Still need a little bit more forehead. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe, maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe we don't need to worry too much about it. Although I think I think I do have to worry about it. I think it's I think it's too tiny of a forehead. I think it all needs to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make the skull a little bit bigger. The entire skull 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 skull. I I have a very big issue, you guys, with skull versus school. With skull versus Cool. It's the same fucking word for me. It's the same. Oh. Right, okay. And then on this side, we're gonna have hair and then tie it up we're gonna tie up the hair we're gonna tie it up just like that and then we're gonna leave it like there also have the opportunity of doing this strand of hair that I have here but that's not necessary to include every time because sometimes sometimes I can just push it backwards sometimes I can push it backwards into my into my the rest of my hair sometimes it's more comfortable to not have it around you know sometimes it just it's just better to have all my hair clump together I think in this occasion I'm gonna prefer not having that strand of hair on the side I'm gonna push it I'm gonna push it back with the rest of my hair yeah now this looks pretty messy because this skull needs to be even bigger this needs to be bigger Whoop! Does that look too big? Yes. Is that gonna look better when the hair is adapting to that kind of big skull? Also, yes. I don't make the rules. Anime is just like that. Anime is just a lot more forehead than you would think. You think your anime is looking bad? It's because it doesn't have enough forehead. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. It's just gonna be better. Okay, now we just grab this. We grab that. We grab that. And we also do. Whoop. And that wasn't an immediate fix, but you know, we're getting we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're gonna fix it, we're gonna fix it. Okay, fine, we're gonna fix it manually, whatever. 10 minutes? Uh, ooh. I don't think I'm gonna have time to fix it manually. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have time to fix it manually then. Um, I love that bit from Asterix and Obelix where they went to sleep in the wasteland and woke up in Rome because Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Damn, that was a good pitch. I feel ashamed. I did not think of it myself. Of what? What pitch? What did I say? Did I have a smart idea? I do not remember it. It was my idea! Unless it wasn't. I don't know! <laughs> I finally live again and I think I made a terrible mistake. I allow my sis to use my car. God bless my car! Trust in her. Trust in her. I believe in her. For your sake of mind, I really, really hope it's okay to believe in her. 
Um, saving optional, clearly. Uh, save. Okay, that is saved. That is saved. Uh, but but I'm wishing good luck to your car. Nightmare Lord Pace, welcome, guys. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Doing great things for asking. Ha, huh, you anticipated me asking. Nice, nice. Uh, Paris and Parasect. Oh, the fungi thing. Paris and Parasect. Ah, see, I don't know the Pokemon, so I get lost very easily about that topic. I will say, when you make your own drawings for a thumbnail, you tend to make your drawings like a sticker with those white outlines, but this game art also... Uh, but this game art also has that, so it fits here. No, it doesn't! I made them myself! That's a trick! Look! That's how it looks. The problem is that when you look at a thumbnail, it, it has to be seen at like this size. Like, not in every screen. If you're on your computer, you're not gonna see it at that size. But if in your ad, uh, in your phone, and you have a, a small model of phone, you may be seeing the thumbnail at this kind of size. So what you want to do is to have it all as visible as possible. The, mo the important things, the blocking and everything. So I add this. So that the eye is gonna recognize that there is a specific shape in there and then look at it more carefully. Right? Because like if I have it like this, it's not necessarily like it, it all blends together. If I add this, there's something calling up to your eye, like, oh, that's something important there. And then if I add this, it just adds a tiny little bit of clarity. And that's why I end up uh, doing that sticker outline for all my drawings and stuff. Okay, I do think that's going well. And it has been uh, two hours already, so I'm probably gonna have to finish this myself. But I am glad at what I did. I do think, overall, it was a lot of progress for two hours. Because I went from nothing to... The only thing I need to finish is the hair, and the only thing I need to refine is the face. And then I can go to, to painting. I think it's a good progress. I think it's a good amount of progress. Um, when in doubt, more layers. So many layers. So many layers. But that's okay. That's okay. Needs a five head. Exactly. Instead of giving it more forehead, why not give it more hair? Because the problem is that the hair has to meet with the... Like, the, the hair. This. Which is the part that I'm not liking. The hair has to be born from the roots, right? So like, you have this. This part of the hair is gonna have to come from this root. Right? It's gonna have to come from that root. Which... Which... You know, there. Then... I can keep filling in, but it all has to come from the root of the hair that I mark, that I mark down. And if I mark the root down poorly, if I mark the root down improperly, then you end up with like hair that just feels wrong. Hair that just doesn't track with what is actually like shape of hair. Normal hair shape. Actually, this is probably wrong. I'm looking at it without really looking at the the final result of it. So I'm probably not gonna like it when I zoom out and look at what I'm doing at a general turns. But I'm gonna have to deal with that when I zoom out. Gonna have to deal with that later. So that, that, and that, and then that, and that, and then if this is that, then that is there, and then that is there 
And because of gravity, I guess it would fall more like straight. Just like, like that. And then like that. I guess that's slightly better already, but I'm not entirely sure that it's better. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that it's better. As I said before, I'm gonna see when I zoom out. I'm gonna have to zoom out eventually and actually look at what I'm doing. There, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that hurts. <sighs> Gods, Gods, don't give me an allergy attack. Not today. Please, not today. Not the day to be sneezing. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. This is still wrong. For sure. For sure. But that. This. Might be fine. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, probably not. I'm gonna figure it out later. I'm gonna keep trialing and erroring and looking at my own drawings for reference later. Later I'm gonna figure out what I'm actually doing wrong. Why I actually don't like it. But, you know, it's, it's getting somewhere. It's getting somewhere. It's going places. Not all of them are good, but with a little bit more work, we can make them good. With a little bit more work, we can make them end in some place that is good. For now, I'm gonna save and we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop for today. And we're gonna pray to gods that I don't have any more sneezes, that I don't develop an allergy attack today, because it's just not the day to be having throat contractions. That sounds weird, but that's that's what I'm begging for right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be it. That's not about that's not about progress. That's not bad progress. That is pretty good progress if I say so myself. And I would know, cause I know how much normally takes me. And it's normally a lot, a lot more than that. But it's not, it's not bad, okay. So, um... Borita, welcome, I hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I know that I just noticed you, although you've been here for a while, but welcome, welcome. Um, I think it's pronounced skull, uh, close to skull. Yeah, I know. It's uh, stupid English words and they're completely weird phonetics that don't really make sense with how it's written and blah, blah. There's a lot of forehead. Yeah, but now it's now it's it's gonna be better. I think I need to. I think my problem right now is that I made the forehead bigger, but by doing the forehead bigger, I made the skull round, and skulls are not round. Not really. Skulls are very plain at the top. So when you have a very round skull, that kind of... Depending on what angle you're seeing, the skull is gonna be... The skull is gonna look round only on the front. But if you look at it three quarters or, or profile or anything like that, it should be a little bit flatter at the top. And I think that's where I'm... That, that's where I made a uh, mistake, is that I modified the head with the tool instead of manually, so I ended up having a very round shape. But I'm gonna see later, I'm gonna see later. 
If you can't play tic-tac-toe in it, it's not enough for it. Exactly! They don't call her goblin head for no reason. Nobody calls her goblin head! What are you even talking about? Nobody says that! Uh, anime equals big brain. Exactly. Lower body of a snake, upper body of a human, skull of a goblin, triple threat. I don't have the skull of a goblin. And if you insist on that, I will kill you. Uh, that said, I went yesterday and literally took all ten bodies and squashed their heads because they were too tall. Oh, and you're drawing! Uh, out of context, that scared me for a sec! <laughs> um, Sailor Alicia, let's go. The gnome eating pitch. Why are we still... Why are we still talking about gnome eating? Why are we still talking about gnome eating? My idea, don't steal. <laughs> what did I say? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I said. But it, it, you were impressed by something. And if it was my idea, I wanted to be able to recall it and do something with it. But apparently, it wasn't even my idea. Um, Ellie, if you were a dragon, what would be your general theme? Asking for that time when I have time to draw an Ellie dragon. Um, I don't know. Because I don't know what you mean exactly with theme. Uh, as far as I like think about dragons with themes. I don't know, a water theme? Just because I like water a lot? What is pink? Flower theme? I don't know. I really don't 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 know if I understand what you mean with theme for a dragon. Bald Lysia? You've never seen Bald Lysia before? This is the first time I think I've seen your thumbnails be this consistent. I see that because the whole game looked off because of the line art in a game that has no line art. The whole game looked off because of the line art in a game that has no line art. Does the game have no line art? I guess it doesn't because it's pixel art. But you can do pixel art with line art. I think you can make pixel art with line art. Uh, also, yeah, I can see that and it's smart. One plus one. We need to stop reading content, more comments out of context because I don't know what you're talking about. Rexy, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Damn, girl, I do really appreciate the amount of effort you put into streaming as a whole. That's why I decided to stick around for sure. Thanks for your hard work, Kelly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I feel very honored that you, that you guys see all the hard effort I put into everything I do. I really do feel happy that you see it. Because I, I really... I try to put my all into it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be visible from the outside. You know, sometimes you're working your hardest and that doesn't necessarily mean that people see that you're working your hardest. Uh, the last game that you, you played that was about holes. The plus one was for the idea of you adding to the white islands to the thumbnails. I think I'll stick to this whatever you do or don't do something <laughs> smart. <laughs> You're gonna give me a score? You're gonna give me a score system? Okay, okay. I can do a counter for that. I can do a counter for that. We don't really have anywhere to put it on the overlay, but I can do a counter for that. Somehow, somewhere. I, I, I can think about it. Um, thanks for the nice stream. Thank you for being here, Niver, for as long as you were. Um, the face went over the course of the stream. Ellie drew the whole bust and finished it up with amazing hair in the last five minutes. Meanwhile, in the same time, I did hair for two chibis. Very simple. Listen, that hair is not, not nearly done. That hair, I'm still struggling to figure out why I don't like it. Yes, I did the bottom of the hair. The bottom of the hair is fine. But the top of the hair, the bangs and the framing hair and everything, I'm not liking. So that I'm gonna have to fiddle with a lot more than what you're seeing. Um, don't worry about thinking about yours. Everyone progresses at the, with different paces. And the reason I can progress as fast as I do, which is still not fast by what I wish was my, my speed. Like my desired standards is still not fast enough. But the reason I, I can do this is because of how much I've practiced and how much I've been doing across this last couple of years. 
Um, but don't don't feel pressured to be speedy. You're gonna get speedier as, as you practice without noticing. I promise you that. The source is me. I didn't notice that I was getting faster until I was like, oh damn, that would have taken me a lot longer before. So I promise. I promise it's gonna happen. Um Still cute, but yet to take good care of your throat and there's a stream. The worst part is like when my throat is hurting because I talked a lot or because I did something wrong with my voice. Um, I normally start feeling better after I have a tea with honey. But yesterday when I started feeling like this, I started having a bunch of teas with honey and nothing. No, no feeling better. In fact, feeling worse because every time I swallow the stupid tea, I feel bad. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. I hope that it doesn't that it doesn't keep hurting in a, the next couple days. But if it does, I'm gonna have to go somewhere on Monday. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Thanks for the streamer as well. Thank you for being here, no name, and thank you for being here, Nyber. Thank you for the stream. Uh, I'd say it was great progress. I do say I do think so too. I do think so too because also going from absolutely nothing to not having to worry about the line art is. Ah, oh, ha, 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 great. It's just great. Knowing that I can just fill it up with flats and then do a little bit of coloring, a little bit of shading, which I don't need to do all that. I don't need to, like, worry too much about the shading anyways, because, again, it is a thumbnail, so it's not really going to be seen a lot, uh, and it's going to be seen at, at a small size, etc. So I think it's a very good progress. Uh, Rapturan, how are you doing? Woo! Welcome. It's been a bit. How are you? How are you? Um, don't go getting sick now. You're here, Ellie. I'm trying not to. I'm hoping against all hope, or rather, yeah, I'm hoping not against all hope because it's not against hope. But I'm really hoping that it's just the the effect of the vaccine that I took the other day. Um, and I'm hoping as soon as I'm like out of the first 48 hours that it's not gonna be hurting anymore. I'm really, really hoping for that. So yeah, let's see. Let's cross our fingers, everyone. The car is fine, but I need to guide her where park when parking because she almost crashed the car. Oh no. Oh no. Well, maybe she's gonna find someone to guide her uh, when she's parking wherever she's going. I, uh, let's, let's have faith. Let's cross our fingers. Let's cross our fingers for my throat and for Crumpet's car. Let's cross our fingers for all of it. <laughs> Um, skulls are not round. Maybe for snakes they aren't, but... No, 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 I swear! Look at a skull. Look at a picture of a skull. The front is round, but if you look at it from the side, it's flat at the top. It really is flat at the top, if you look at it from the side. Uh, the last game that you played that was about holes. Most D&D rounds can shape shift. Oh, wait, I already read some of these. I've already read some of these messages. Okay, most D&D dragons can shape shift. I know, lucky bastards. Lucky bastards, they don't need to gather all the mana that I need to gather. Everything. Um, I can attest to the fact that we can see how hard you try to deliver the best content you can. <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional. And I can also confirm that you do great success. Stop it. I'm gonna get emotional. It is a Nags reference, man. <gasps> yes, it is. Ah, oh, it's been such a long time! It's been such a long time since I haven't seen Nags! I was a very big fan... Here's the thing. I was a very big fan of his series, uh... Of his series of Discovering Hololive. Because it was like, uh, I don't know much about the Japanese side of Hololive or the Indonesian... The, I should know more about the Indonesian side of Hololive because they speak quite a bit of English. But, uh, as, as I watch streams while I'm working, I've said this so many times, but I really do need to be seeing streams on a language that I can understand without reading. And so I don't know much about the Japanese side. So watching Nags reacting to them, discovering them, was a way for me to also discover them. I was a very big fan of that series. And then YouTube started recommending me only the, uh, the videos in which he reacts to clips um, of like several YouTubers, VTubers at the same time. And that, I don't know, I never really got back into that because those are mixed. Sometimes he will have clips in English right next to a clip in Japanese right next to a clip in some other language 
And then I get lost and so I never ended up watching those while I was working Yeah, it's been such a long time now. I'm really thinking about it. I really should keep watching Naz. I enjoyed that I really enjoyed that Um would forgetting about smart counter being minus plus min minus one smart? I think so too. I, I no, I think so too because you're not saying that you think so. But I think so. I think I think it would be. I think it would be. Ellie fiddling with her hair after the stream. I will be fiddling with my hair after the stream, or maybe tomorrow because I was doing something before uh, starting this thumbnail today that I really want to finish. I really want to finish that other drawing. Uh, and I'm so close. I'm so close. I just want it done. But then again, I do want to have this thumbnail done by Tuesday. So I don't know. I'll fi we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, calling T stupid. This gotta be serious. It hurts so much. <laughs> I know that I'm laughing, but it's because the only other option is crying. And it's like... It hurts when I swallow. You know what that means? That means drinking is a pain. Eating is a pain. Just existing because you have to swallow spit and saliva while you exist. It hurts and I don't like it. But thankfully, it doesn't seem to be hurting more because of speaking. That was a very big fear that I had. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like it's a thing. Thankfully, it just still hurts when I swallow. <laughs> Uh, it's always something, huh? Yeah. Honestly, it sounds like an infection. You really should get a checkup if this persists to the weekend. That is my plan. If this persists to the weekend, I am yeeting myself into a doctor's office. Um, because... I'm cautious now without panicking because of the vaccine. They told me like, okay, you're gonna... It's the vaccine, so uh, remember for the first 48 hours, you could feel like you're getting sick, you could develop fever, etc, etc. Um, only worry about it if it persists for more than 48 hours, and blah 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 blah, right? So they told me that, and I'm, I'm in the first 48 hours. So I'm trying to not make a big deal out of it, but after the weekend, it's definitely gonna be more than 48 hours, so if in the weekend it doesn't go away, if in the weekend it doesn't go away, I'm going to get to definitely get myself to a doctor's office because <laughs> nobody wants nobody wants me to be dealing with an infection especially not me <laughs> old skulls have dents in them uh are you talking about the the, the eye sockets and the and the like structure of the bones i love iris's new design it's so pretty it is i love that the new art style fits the the rest of whole life a lot better okay you meant the side of the upper skull phew thank god you weren't an alien no 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 i definitely meant the the side of the upper skull like the the top of the skull is a little bit flat if you look at it from the side and from three quarters and everything uh so it's only it's only round if you see it from the front uh just tell them to call off tuesday easy eh Tell him to call off Tuesday. Huh? Oh, so I don't have to finish the thumbnail before Tuesday? I will, though. I will. I did so much progress in two hours. Imagine what I can do in the weekend. I did well enough that I'm very confident. I'm very confident that in the weekend I'm gonna knock this drawing out of the park. I'm gonna knock this drawing out of the park in the weekend. You're not gonna, you're not gonna even notice what's going on. You're not even gonna notice what's going on until you see it. And it's gonna be like, oh, wow, she did finish it. Confident snake, I'm very confident about this. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work uh, extra time if I need to to make sure that I have it for Tuesday. Um, I don't understand. Is everyday living not painful for everyone? No, it's not. Normally, you don't feel your muscles. Unless you do have a chronic illness, in which case I'm very sorry. But uh, normally I, I do not, so I don't normally feel my muscles unless I'm doing something with them. Morning, Ellie. I got woken up from a dream that involves an alien invasion of some kind, and now I'm here. Welcome, Delphine Squared. You arrived at the end of the stream. We are doing the wrap-up. We're actually finishing the wrap-up, if I look at the time. 
So welcome, welcome. I hope that you're feeling very well rested after your sleep, but it is the end. Uh, to be fair, it would be, it would be difficult for me to notice when you're finishing it because, well, it'll be off stream. I know, it will be off stream. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry, but I'm gonna finish it off stream because I wanna have it for Tuesday because I already have two different thumbnails on this game and I don't wanna make it a third. I don't wanna make it a third. I'm tired. I'm tired of modifying the other thumbnail. I wanna just knock it out, have it done. I wanna be ready. I wanna be ready for it for however long this stream goes, you know, this, this stream series goes. Cause I don't know how long the game is. We know that we've beaten two bosses and that we have seven. So at least five more streams. Uh, and I would like to have the new thumbnail for those five. Instead of just having to deal with the, the one that I have that I don't like that much. Um, well, no, I'm showing signs of fever again. Oh, no, Delphin! Drink plenty of liquids and be very mindful, very, very conscious of how you're feeling in case that you need to take something so that you can take it early on. I myself, I was talking about how I, if this weekend I know I don't start feeling better in my throat, I'm gonna have to go to a doctor and cancel the stream on, on Monday because I, my throat is feeling like it's, it's painful when I swallow. So... Be careful out there and be very aware of how you're feeling in case you have to go to a doctor and get meds. Drink plenty of liquids, protect yourself from the cold. That's another reason I'm like not trying to make this a big deal. Because what if it was because of the sudden cold? Like, yeah, I'm very affected by, by sudden changes in temperature. And suddenly this week we went from 35 degrees Celsius to, to like 18 degrees Celsius. It's a big jump. Maybe it's that. Maybe that is affecting me, you know? Reuse the pedestrian thumbnails? Oh yeah, that fits into the Lost Ruins perfectly. <laughs> that perfectly fits. Oh, what a, what, a, what a memory lane. I love those thumbnails. I love a lot of the thumbnails that I've done. Also, I finished I finished the drawing that you're not gonna see until I... I, I finally finished this, this other drawing that you're not gonna see until I post it because it's part of a short that I wanna do. Uh, but I can't wait for you to see it because it's so stupid. <laughs> it is so stupid. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um... Maybe try to use your live 2D model to make a new face snapshot so you can have more thumbnail materials. I do that when I need to, but I, I don't prefer it. Like, I do definitely have it as an option, but it's, uh, it's one of those things where it's like... It's a last resort for a lot of the thumbnails that I do. And for some other of the thumbnails, it's not necessarily a last resort. But it's also not, like, something that I want to do in every case. It has to fit within the cover of the game like if the cover of the game is very it's uninspiring as far as how i could draw myself or if the cover of the game has like with the some of the games that i want to play in the future for example right in return of the upper den which i want to play in the future i don't think that I would be able to draw myself in any style to match the thumbnail. So in now one, I'll probably use just a uh, light to d snapshot. Um, and then I also want to play There Is No Game, which also doesn't really have cover art. So that's also something that I cannot imagine myself drawing into it. Uh, just like with the, with the Portal Death Job uh, stream, that doesn't really have any art that I could imagine myself like fitting into. But in any thumbnail that I see it and I'm like, ah, yes, I see how I could draw myself for that thumbnail. I always want to take that option if at, if at all available. Are you just gonna have them laying around on use? The thumbnails? Unfortunately, I don't know what to do with them after they're done. Which is very sad because the Mighty Goose thumbnail and the Skull to the Lamb thumbnail, they just make me happy. When I look at them, they just, I really feel happy about that, about those. I just really, really like them. But I don't know when I would use them at all. I don't know when I would even use them. But yeah, there, there they are. There they are. 
talking about thumbnails. That's a way. Uh, that's a way that I could draw. Okay. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting my inspiration back for how I could draw this specific thumbnail based on the, the ones that I've drawn before. I see it. I see it. I'm just gonna do this again. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this again that I'm seeing all the thumbnails that I already have. Perfect. Perfect. I think you're the best at adding highlights and shadings. It's a shame we won't be able to see much of that. You think I'm the best? I am terrible at it. I, the next thing that I want to study properly with like tutorial courses, whatever, is shading and lighting. Because I see all of these amazing pictures posted on Twitter all the time that have like strong lighting effects. Like really hard lighting, shading, lighting and shading. And I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. So I'm really, really looking forward to the time in like half a year <laughs> when I'm going to have the time to study that. Um, Return of the Overdean is such a good game, but it's so difficult in my eyes. Oh no, is it difficult on the eyes? I'm really looking forward to playing that one. There is no Ellie. There is no Ellie. Except there's gonna be, I promise. But you still have excess pedestrian thumbnails. I still do have excess pedestrian thumbnails. I, I have done like eight of them. I think I deleted them already though. I think I deleted them. Inspiring chat? Am I inspiring chat? Am I inspiring you guys? Is this being inspiring somehow? Drawing or drawing commissions uh, you only use for one stream is a waste. It it kind of is. That's why I only do it for games that I'm gonna that I'm gonna do a long series on. Except for a couple of collabs that I did. Well, not really. If I'm looking at my things, I'm looking at my things, right? There's plenty of drawings that I did for only one stream, actually. There are plenty of drawings that I did for only one stream. Oof. Big oof, now that I notice it. Oh well, they're done. They're done. Nowadays, I try to make sure that if I'm gonna do an entire drawing, it's gonna be for a longer series of streams. Why not create a thumbnail collage? It, the thumbnails are there on the Discord. I don't know where I would even post a collage. Uh, it wasn't too hard on the eyes for me. It has that weird black and white but dotted art style. And that's why I don't think I could match it if I tried to draw a thumbnail for it. Um, so I'll see what I do when it's time to play it. Or rather, I'll play it when I know what I do with the thumbnail. I don't know, chicken and egg, what's gonna come first? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But with that being said, I am going to stop it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for... I hope you... I hope it was interesting to see how I normally approach the thumbnails. I know that I didn't show you the process of um, Frankensteining the background in order to make something that I feel like composition-wise matches better. I know that I didn't show you that, but I hope it was uh, interesting enough anyways. Um, and yeah, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Thank you very much for hanging out with us as always. Thank you for hanging out with me. What are you talking about? Thanks for the stream. Thank you for coming. Um, don't forget to... No, wait. It's nice to see the process too. Yeah, and yeah, it's always nice to chat with you. Rest well and give your throat some good stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna give it tea with honey and a lot of rest. So thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Renko, for the super chat. And if you like the video, or rather the stream, the live, whatever, do hit the like button. Um, hope you got better faster than I did. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm so sorry that it took you so, so long. But I'm glad to see that you had at least one day that you could relax uh, when you were feeling a little bit better. Because it, it, it would have been very terrible if all of the days you got off to relax was days that you were, like, bedridden. I've been there, and it's not nice. So, uh, uh, I'll see you guys next time, tomorrow, unless my throat suddenly gets, uh, catches fire. But I don't think that's gonna happen. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, do hit the like button if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, if I ever drift back to sleep, I'm glad I'm listening in. I hope that if you sleep back to sleep, you feel very well rested when you wake up. If you drift back to sleep, it's probably because your body needed it. But for now, don't forget to stretch. Don't forget to drift.
drink plenty of water, try to eat nutritiously and try to sleep 7 to 9 hours. And most important of all, be kind to yourself and others. Alright? Take care of my safe shifters! Bye-bye! Thank <music> you.